Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. Face shave now, the head shave's done. It wasn't the best of head shaves, the soap's not the best. I'm gonna be using it in my face shave as well, but let's get stuck in. So the soap for today is gonna to be Wilkinson Sod in the little blue tub. Very nice, clean, fresh, soapy scent. The tub looks like that, it's got a bit of bubbles on it from my head shave. Yeah, it's a nice, clean scent. That's all I can say about it. If someone said what the soap smell like, if a generic scent of soap, I would say this stuff has got a generic soap scent, if I had to direct someone to the smell of soap. To my nose anyway, in my personal experience. I'm just going to load up the brush straight off the top of the soap. Now you've got 125 grams of soap in here. It's like five pounds or something. I can't remember how much it was. It might even have been less. But to be fair, the performance on it is worth that amount. It's not a, a high, high performing soap. Well, I'm just loading the brush up as best I can. The brush is okay. This one is the special edition. It was an extra 50 pence, I think. And it was about three or four pounds. So all up, you can get a soap and a brush for less than 10 pounds in the UK. I mean, it's by no means the best of the best gear. But it works. You know, I got a BBS head shave without really any irritation. I got one nick, but that was from the razor rather than the soap, which you use at error. So same with the face shave. <coughs> I was going to just use the leaf razor today, but I decided that I am going to use the Feather Artisan SS razor as well, which was very kindly sent down or dropped off by Craig from Face Fat on his way down south on holiday. What was that here? There it is. Lost a few years from this, as expected. Right, I'm just going to dip the tips. Paint a little bit of water in. Don't want to lose any lather. And another here. Now surprisingly, this is only the third time I've used this brush. I test landed it in my hand once. Used it for my head just now. And this is the first time on the face. And it's actually got quite a nice face feel. It's got a nice scrub, it's got no scritch or scratch. I mean, it doesn't feel super luxurious or anything, but I tell you what, for the money, it's a nice feeling little brush. And it certainly exfoliates, that's for sure. It's a bit more water, I think, I think. Now, is it better than Mitchell, not Mitchell's Wolf Fat, is it better than Williams Mug Salt? Definitely. It's definitely better for lathering. What I might do, believe it or not, is mix this with Mitchell's, with Williams. I keep saying Mitchell's Wolf Fat because it's, it's shit, I can't lather it. It's not shit, I'm just shit at lathering. Same as Williams. What I'm thinking of is mixing this with Williams. To hopefully get the benefits of the Williams slickness along with the lathering ability of the Wilkinson sword, which would then make quite a nice soap, I think. Yeah, this is quite, I mean, this is a reasonably airy, foamy lather, but it's not too bad. Brushes absolutely chock a block. Now, the thing I'm worrying about with this is will it be slick enough? I'll answer that question right now, I think, before I even shave and say no, but it might prove me wrong. So, here we have the Feather Artist Club, Artist Series, or whatever it's called. It's got a third just blade in it now, it's done one head shave and one pass on a face shave. It's only going to do one pass today. 
it is a folding style chevette the blade is quite long and it does a great job it's a really smooth blade very comfortable it's very sharp of course I'm just going to dry my hands I don't know why I wet my hand after drying it and here we go So I've got two days growth. Yeah, it's not a very, very slick soap, I've got to say. what it feels like, it feels like I'm actually forcing the razor across my skin. Soap's doing okay. I would say it's more the razor that's actually doing okay. Opened up a little weep of it. But certainly very smooth, the blade's excellent. It feels I don't want to upset the straight razor community. But this one feels, for some reason, quite closely to my straight razor. Just doesn't feel as aggressive as a single edge chevette, the, the DE style chevette with a half blade in it. With that thinner, sharper blade, that blade feels sharp but it feels smooth. Very similar to the edge on a straight razor, sharp and smooth. So it's very nice to use. I've got one weeper there out of a full face pass, I'm quite happy with that. Residual slickness is average at best, really is average. And that's so with a second application of water, it's, it's almost gone. So it's not a great shaving soap with regards to slickness. And that's with the shave and residual as well. But it lathers up fine, so if I can get that properties out of the Williams mug soap and get it into this soap. Well, it's keeping the lather ability of this soap, I think I can create a pretty good little soap for not much money. Right, just going to finish the shave off now with the leaf razor which has got three Voscord blades in it, three half Voscord blades. 
and let's just see, I'll go across the green. I don't know if you notice straight away on that first pull, there's no slickness. By all accounts, I should really be like that there, that's terrible. Look at my ear shaking. I know I keep doing that over there, but it's just to show you that there's no slickness in this soap. Once you get it going like this, it's fine. Once you get that water in there and then start trying to, yeah, there it goes again, really juddering. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not a great soap, it's a really average soap. You, you get what you pay for. To be honest, I say I'm not really looking forward to an against the grain pass. I'm going to do one anyway. So ladders, okay. Forms out of 10 at like a 3. It's really average soap. I think I'd get better off with bloody just using pure coconut oil or something. Right. Oh, stuff it, let's just. Unless I mix that with Williams, that's the last time I use that so that's rotten.
spray there. That's gone, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah, as with the head. Okay, so I'm surprised with the post shave. The post shave for me is actually very good. So it feels quite moisturised. Got quite a few weepers on my neck and everything now, but it's, it's got no protection. The lather's so aerated and, and sort of loose. It's got no slickness. I don't feel like it protected my skin at all during that shave. I mean, it obviously protected it a bit, but not much. I've used a chevette with that there. God, I love this BBS stuff. <laughs> I mean, my neck's got a few little blotches here and there, a few little red bits. Now, what I'm finding, I just want to highlight this, this as well because I have talked about this razor at length and said how much I really enjoy it and how it's almost sort of hit the top of the pile for me. What's coming out of this razor that I've noticed if I leave my hair to grow longer than a day or two is I do end up, not with so much ingrowns, but I end up with hairs that are cut so close under the skin that the skin closes up over the top. So your hair's like that and you just get a very thin layer of skin over the top of it, which then leads to ingrowns. But what's happening is, is it's still coming through and just with a quick rub of my fingers it pops all the top of the skin. Very, very nice thought there, but just to give you a bit of a heads up that it does cause, in my opinion, it still causes a few of those little things that you get from cartridge razors. I haven't had that from the skin guard, but I do get it from this a little bit. But I'm still going to keep using this, testing it out, seeing where it takes me. I'm still really enjoying using it. Do you know something I forgot to do under my nose? Don't do this at home, kids. To be fair, the Chevette got pretty much all of it. But that's it. So that's almost a full BBS face shave again. There's a couple of little bits here and there, but nothing major. A couple of little red blotches with very minimal irritation and a full head shave, BBS head shave, and the yeah, post shave feels excellent, really happy with the post shave feel, surprisingly, I don't know why. Anyway, what did we use? We used, what did we use? We know what we used, I've already freaking showed you. Wilkinson sod, blue soap tub, whatever you want to call it. Looks like that in the tub. It's a lot of soap, I've got to say. I'm actually contemplating even taking this out and using it as a hand soap because the post shave, the moisturising of it is really nice. The brush for today was also Wilkinson Sod Shave product. These ones, albeit are cheaply made and quite nasty looking, but they are made in Germany, surprisingly. But very floppy little knot. It's still got a lot of scrub, believe it or not. Believe it or not, the knot has got a lot of scrub, believe it or not. Excuse me. But it's a very, as you can see, it's a tiny little flimsy type knot. It's I mean, it's got reasonable backbone for what it is. It's got great scrub on the face, it's got no scritch or scratch, so it's very comfortable to use straight out of the box. So I'm quite happy with it really, and I probably will use that again, I'll probably keep hold of that for what it is. It's a little bit too light for my, my taste, I like a little bit of heft in my brushes, a little bit of weight in the handle, I mean that could have been filled with sand or whatever, glue, any old shit, would have, would have worked, I made it a little bit heavier, I made it feel more substantial in the hand. The first pass was conducted with the feather, Artist Club folding chevette, which I'm really surprised by. It's not my sort of style of shaving chevette shaving. I've never really enjoyed it, but that blade and that razor, it feels high quality. It looks great, but when you actually use it, it feels very comfortable because you get, it's got such a long, I can't remember what this is called now. That's terrible. Tang, not the tang, can't remember. But so long I can get two fingers on. Most of them, you can only get your thick one finger on and it's quite uncomfortable. I can get a real good firm grip on this. It's just a very well built design razor. It's nice stiff screw which is great. You can adjust the screw if it gets loose or loosen it if you want to loosen it. It's a really really nice chevette. And the blade that Craig sent down with it is very smooth and comfortable. Oh, this feels great. Really happy with that. Finished off the shave with the Leaf Razor from leafshave.com. 
Now this is the prototype of the original Kickstarter. Like I say, there's a few issues with it. There's a magnet coming out, the screw's bent, the finish on the razor itself is actually starting to bubble and probably will eventually peel. But all in all, it shaves very, very well. And I'm going to do a bit of a test with this razor as well and just use it with one blade in it as well, just in that bottom one and just see if it feels any different. Are the three blades a gimmick? Am I, am I just feeling... Is it just shaving with one blade? Is it a single-edged razor that feels... that? makes you feel like you're using a cartridge, I don't know. If it is, it's a bit silly because it would make an amazing single edge razor. If that's so, a single edge razor with a pivot, you could then make the head a lot smaller. Mm, just something to think about in it, really. Used a little trimming tool at the very end, just to get under the nose on a dry face, which I don't recommend anyone do. But all the little weepers and stuff have all cleared up and dried up. Really smooth, soft skin with very surprising moisturising from the soap. But I am going to finish off once again with Bluebeard Revenge Cooling Moisturiser because it's here and because it smells fantastic. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I have to say, I didn't really enjoy the soap at all. It, it, it's If the soap's not great, it does really affect your shave. And it's really affected my head and face shave today. Had I used a high quality soap today, or in my opinion, what is a high quality soap with loads of sleekness and protection and you know a real dense, creamy lather, I think I'd have got much better results from the shave overall. Less weepers, less sort of drag, less skipping, less bouncing. I just think it would be a more enjoyable experience, but you've got to try these things and people out there want to see what these products really work like. And for me, Wilkinson Solid Shave Soap is right at the bottom of the pile, it's way down there, it's way below Williams Mug Soap in my opinion, at least Williams has got amazing slickness. And uh, so, all in all, I got to the, the stage I wanted to be at. You guys stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive, and I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.